Madeleine Albright in 2006 said there is a special place in hell for women who do not help other women. A few days ago, a young lady lost her life through violence. And I am appalled and sickened by some of the comments by some people in Trinidad and Tobago. It seems as though empathy is no longer alive. It seems as though understanding someone's situation is far gone. And I never met this young lady, but she is, she was a woman not only a woman, she was a woman who was a victim of abuse. And she decided to take a stand. Sadly, that stand cost her her life. But nonetheless, she took a stand because she was tired of being abused. And I am appalled by the comments of many. As a society, where did we receive or who did we receive the instruments of judgment from? Because we seem very comfortable to pass judgments on a victim once again victim blaming when you blame the victim you hold up the hand of the abuser not only in this case but in every case of child abuse domestic violence sexual assault victim blaming Blame the victim for being killed is the victim's fault. Blame the victim for the rape. Well, if she didn't wear a skirt so short, or she should have known not to walk down the road that hour, or some other kind of foolish thought that comes out, it comes to people's mind, and they decide to verbalize it so that the victim will get a blame. Blame the child, yes, for being abused. You know the normal thing that you hear people say is, look how long the child getting abused, why it is the child didn't say something sooner. And the cycle of victim blaming continues to be alive, continues to rear its ugly head, continues to make it much harder. The last time I checked, we will live it in 2014, not 1260 or not 300 BC. The internet is king. Education is free. Societies are advancing, yet still ignorance and gross illiteracy on the subject of abuse, child abuse, domestic violence and sexual assault is rampant. Is, 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 is at its pinnacle in many communities, in many lives, in many minds. And I am amazed because in this day and age, ignorance and illiteracy seems to be given the freedom of education, the advancement of education and the internet, stiff competition. We have many persons in this day and age who are academically educated. And they too are saying some of the following. Some people deserve to be beaten because they provoke the violence. Women should just remove themselves from the abusive relationship. Well, if you're getting licks, why you stay so long? An next foolish one I hear in, while in a taxi is... Women like the licks, you know, and women will say, if you don't beat me, you don't love me. 
and one that many in society say, which makes me laugh, is that violence only happens to a certain class of people. Ah, hmm. oh boy. We're in a sad state of affairs. When a victim can stand for their right, which is to have a life free of abuse, free of pain, free of hurt. And that victim can be scrutinized and can receive further abuse by society. Then it saddens me to see that as a society, we are not advancing forward, but we are advancing back. We boast ourselves that we are the little America of the Caribbean. We boast ourselves in the oil that we have. We boast ourselves that, hey, we have free education. We boast ourselves we have free health care. But yet still, in all this freedom, ignorance is still alive. In all this freedom, we are making prisoners of many who we are telling them to be free. And we're seeing to break your silence and we're, we're doing the brochures, campaigns and the, the little adverts on the TV, you know, um, break your silence. But sadly, when they do break their silence, when they do decide to speak out against the abuse which has been perpetrated against them, they are looked upon by many in society as a guilty party. They are blamed, they are cast aside, and many times they do not receive the help which they desire, and not only desire, but which they need. I hope that as we as a people pride ourselves in what Trinidad and Tobago is or what we would like it to become that we also allow victims of abuse to have a safe space and a safe place in this advancing Trinidad and Tobago to all those who have lost a loved one at the hands of an abuser because they decided to take that bold step and say, I can take this abuse no longer. I send forth my deepest sympathy to you, family members and friends And let us never forget the dead. For in forgetting the dead, it is akin to killing them a second time. In forgetting the dead and what they stood for, even in the last moments that they breathed life, would be to be making a mistake. It would be a travesty of justice to that person, to their memory, and a travesty of justice to those who looking on and desiring for someone, some way to stand with them as they too seek to break their silence on abuse. I hope that empathy will return. I hope that self-regulation of thought would return. I hope that before you take up the instruments 
of judgment that you will think twice. Abuse knows no color. It respects no one. And it comes in in many of our lives, uninvited, on our way, just waiting for an opportunity. And it may be that as you pass judgment upon another today, judgment may be passed upon you tomorrow because we never know when we're in a situation what we are capable of doing or what we would not do you know this is my little rant on what I've been hearing the foolishness about someone deserving it no one deserves abuse. No one deserves it. So Trinidad and Tobago, show some empathy. Show some respect. Show some love. Show some compassion. And what saddens me more is that many who are in, quote unquote, the religious circles, are also throwing in their two cents of judgment. Because I guess their white, their robes are too clean to be spotted. I guess we have saints living on the earth. And I guess God has somehow given them the full authority, infallible, as they are infallible as he is, he has given to fallible man the authority to judge another because they hold a Bible and they say to themselves they pray and they think themselves to be better than others and they think that because they go to church that everybody else is in heathen. But the time and a day will come when even those who are of the cloth are faced with such a trial that you wonder when they make that decision if they are of the cloth. So... Trinidad and Tobago, it's a sad day when we can rejoice at the death of another. It's a sad day when we can say that someone deserved to die. May God have mercy on us all. Goodbye.